me where you're from. I'm originally from Iran and I'm a graduate student at Oklahoma. Alright, so tell me what you've seen. What's different? Um, uh, actually, uh, what I saw for the past eight months and when she said that she was under pain, mm -hmm. um, I was paying attention to, I was paying attention more to her uh, mouth and how the lips are moving and things like that. Yeah. I saw some trembling before the bite adjustment yesterday yeah. in her uh, actually lower lips. But today when she was um, actually eating breakfast, I didn't see that. So and that, that was a consistent thing that you saw for months. Huh? Yes, I, I was paying attention to it for, yeah. for, for the past eight months. Yeah, yeah. And when she said that now I have relaxed muscles, I couldn't see the relaxed muscles, but I could see that this changed. Yeah. So it was like, as you mentioned today, she has a more steady home uh, yes. homecoming. So the objective data that we're using yeah. tells us that we can see it with the computers. That was yeah. that was great. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. So, um, are you guys glad you came? Yep. Yeah. Made sense. Of course. I mean, um, I mean, actually, not only that, but also like having a, a complete MRI of her head yeah. helped us find some other stuff like the the, the cysts that she, she in her has sinus? yes in yep. her sinuses so yep. that gave us a better idea of what to go for next other possible problems of, of other possible problems yeah i mean we, we can't fix it all no and, but we can yeah. we come at it we're checking different boxes that almost nobody checks yeah and then you know it crosses boundaries yeah you know it's not just dental it's medical it's it could be uh, chiropractic it could yeah. be Right. We have been to many places, and we—I mean—that tinnitus was like the beginning of that holy grail, you know. Yeah. And uh, nobody could give us a definite answer for anything. But after the bite adjustment, I think now we are we are going for ruling out possibilities. Yes, yeah. so I've been dealing with um, pain in my jaw and um, just heaviness in my face, it's like I have stones in my cheekbones. Yeah. And um, uh, and also pain behind my left ear. I had also ringing in my ear, and the ringing and the tinnitus was the main complaint I had. And so yeah. I was searching. I went to um, all the specialists to find out what's wrong with me, and I realized that the brain is fine, the ear is fine. So um, and also the pain was um, didn't let me sleep at night. So I figured that it had something to do with my um, jaw. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, went to a dentist and I was scheduled to get a splint because of, like, to get my uh, jaw aligned probably. But then I couldn't accept that because I teach and I don't have the luxury of having something in my mouth for an extended period of time. So I uh, looked a little bit more and I wanted to know about the side effects of uh, having a splint and all of a sudden I... Um, ran into one of your videos and I decided to come here. So we met a few days ago and we ran you through screening. What did you think of the screening? It was very informative because when I was in pain I had no idea what was happening and I yeah. found out a little bit more and I realized that uh, all of these years there has been things happening to my jaw and I had no idea that it was causing all this pain and I need to be more careful in the future and also go for other um, problems that I noticed in the data we have. You had all kinds of problems that we knew that we couldn't address. Yeah. There's orthopedic problems, the mm -hmm. joints are torn up, right? You have an ear issue that's likely coming from your neck. If the ENT has cleared your, your organic ear disease problems, which it seems like you're pretty good there, that's probably an upper C-spine thing. And then you also have lower C-spine things because you've got something traveling on your arm, right? On your left side. Right? Yeah, I get numbness in my hand. Yeah, so, you know, so there's a lot of things going on here. It's not just a TMJ or bite problem. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a plethora of things. Mm -hmm. So we helped you understand, I think, that there's multiple problems, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so we also found problems with the bite. Mm -hmm. and, and the joint wasn't super healthy either, but it was relatively stable, mm -hmm. kind of. So we went ahead and we decided, you decided to go ahead and try the bite thing. So we did that yesterday. So what was it like today? I mean, you've had about a day with the new bite. What's it feel like after we adjusted things? So um, things happened to me for the last uh, couple of months that caused me, put me under a lot of pressure and I, I was under stress. So I realized that I was clenching my back teeth. Yeah. Or just when it was cold, I had the tendency to just do the clenching. So my um, lower teeth were just overworked, and I realized that my front teeth couldn't touch well. 
Yeah. But after yesterday, I was happy to find out that I they didn't have to work that much, and my uh, cheekbones were relaxed. I I was I could smile. I could actually smile, and it was a really good feeling for after eight months. And um, also, um, what else can I say? Um, I have less. Oh, I have a lot more range of motion in my neck, and I have less pain in my neck, yeah. and uh, less pain in my temples so overall everything is good and I feel very stable in my front teeth so they're actually touching so is it fair to say that you didn't have a really good home bite no, before yeah, yeah, and now you do right yeah, I do so we made real precise adjustments based on the computerized data yes. not just the way the teeth came together but on the electromyography the EMG the muscle For sure. data yeah. and we were watching all that and you have a little bit of an unusual bite in that you've got a like a crossbite up front mm -hmm. So, in other words, teeth are supposed to be like this, but you're like this, yeah. lower teeth, mm -hmm. upper teeth, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were a little bit limited as to what we could do, but still, we were able to change things and see objectively that they were better. Yeah. So, how'd you sleep last night? I slept very well. I actually um, had some very good dreams after a long time, and I wasn't yeah. afraid to sleep on a hotel pillow. Yeah, so it was, it was uncomfortable, you said, but it was very comfortable. So, it was so this was unusual, right? Yeah. You had a great night's sleep. Yes, very good. The pain doesn't linger anymore. But it used to linger, right? Yes, a lot. Yeah. So you had lingering cold pain, now it's not lingering. No. It's okay. Not. I recommend that um, take it seriously if you're having pain in your jaw, if, you're having your, if your face doesn't feel normal, if you can't smile. Or if you have difficulty chewing, get pain in your jaw, um, it's serious. Uh, pay attention because it can probably, it ruined my life for the last eight months because I was depressed, I couldn't function well. But yesterday I was, um, I, I'm having, uh, I can breathe uh, easier and I'm happier. So um, I definitely recommend and they should try it. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.